He was just about to take a bite of cake when he was arrested by the police for murder. But Hikami pulled out $10 and put it on the table and kept his hands where he could see them. This calm coping experience is enough to show that he's no ordinary person. When he came to the police station, the police sees nothing special from him except for a medal from WWII. Even through the fingerprint information, the police can only find out his name is Jack, but no other information. When the police were at a loss, Detective Inspector Oscar brought him into the interrogation room. In the early hours of this morning, there was a shooting in the town. The victim was a burly man in his 30s, but not a single shell casing was found at the crime scene, and the victim showed signs of a severe beating. With Jack's size, he is fully capable of committing such a crime. Jack didn't want to say anything when he was accused of a crime he didn't commit, so Oscar put Jack in jail. Just after Jack came in, some men came to make trouble. So I'll give you to the count of three. One. prison guards were dumbfounded by the scene in front of them. He was supposed to be upstairs, but Jack was put in the felon's area. Someone was obviously setting him up. That's when policewoman Roscoe found out who Jack was. She realized he was a decorated soldier. That's when they let Jack out. Strangely, wherever he went, people looked at him differently. Even when he shaved, he was followed. A man recognized Jack. He said he read Major Jack's allegations in the paper. Small village outside of Baghdad. Charges of very serious nature, the charges of somehow... I didn't realize how quickly his background became clear. He found Roscoe to say goodbye, but now there's been another murder. Jack didn't want to get involved, but Oscar forced him to take him to the morgue on the grounds that he wasn't out of the woods yet. Coroner's report says the victim's eye, D, is untraceable. The only clue was the scars on his hands. At first, he didn't think anything of it. He was just listening. Suddenly, he couldn't stand it anymore. He rushed forward to check the body. He didn't realize it was his brother, whom he hadn't seen for years. I guess I'll find everybody responsible. Kill every last one of them. 